Next question. The app I'm working on is a mess. How can I refactor a legacy iOS project into a clean architecture? Well, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> a messy legacy project won't be cleaned in a day, in a week. And if you're working in a team, this is a team effort. Right. It's not the responsibility of one developer. Even right. if you have an iOS architect, that's not their responsibility. It's everyone's responsibility to improve the design and make things better. There is no way a project like this can be cleaned from one person. It must be a team effort. Otherwise, there is going to be conflict all day long. Yes, conflict, low morale. One person fixes a part of the code base. The other one breaks it. Yes. You know, they will not be very nice to be part of. Yes. So it needs to be a team effort. Now, if you have this massive, messy legacy code base, you also cannot stop development and put this refactoring on a schedule and expect your boss to accept it. Right. Because they don't want to stop the development. Yes. They expected this code base to deliver their vision perpetually. Stopping the development to refactor everything is not a good solution because it's going to be very hard to get buy-in from your managers and bosses. What do you do instead? You fix things, you improve things as you go. Yes. You get everyone in the team to improve things as you go. So there's no conflict of interest and you don't need to stop developing new features. If something is working, leave it there. It's working. If you need to change a part of the system or add a new feature, new code should be clean, should be tested and follow good design principles. And if you're changing code that already exists, you clean up just the part you are changing. So as you keep changing and improving things, at some point, you will clean up the whole code base. And this may take a year. Don't right. expect it to happen <laughs> in a couple of weeks. No. You're going to be improving things as you go as a team effort. So you need to find a strategy with your team to do things as you go, to improve the code base as you go. And it is possible. You can start by reading the Working Effectively with Legacy Code by Michael Feathers. A classic. Or go even further and get some training. Every business that cares about realizing their vision perpetually, they know they need skills in the team. They will be happy to invest in skills if they care about growth. <laughs> That's it. The keyword is invest. These are not costs. This is an investment in the business. Rewriting the code base is a cost. Investing in skills is an investment. Yes. That's it. So if you want to improve the design of a legacy code base, you don't need to rewrite it from scratch. Improve things as you go as a team effort.